Welcome to Bonavista update number eight for uh, March 21st, the day after the first day of spring uh, 2015. And what you're looking at here is the second town which I was planning on the uh, last update. If I get up a little bit higher you can see all the track has been laid and the industries um, are pretty much the way they're going to be. I've got the Jabala Mills which was in the town of La Pointe. Um, on my old layout these two buildings here, Weslowski Chemical and the abandoned building, are just sitting there right now. But I've got Lester's uh, Feed and Seed, which was in the town of Westcott, and the Wesco building, which was uh, the construction of which was featured in a Model Railroader article last year, uh, is sitting there for at least the time being. And um, over here, there's going to be a little bit of a lake with a, um, a bridge on it. So that has happened since the last update. This is in this little cove area here. There's no name on this town yet. Um, but speaking of names of towns, I have officially named the town down here that you saw last time. This is now called, are you ready? Birchwood. I named it that because I really like the name Birchwood and also uh, the fact that the whole layout is built on birch plywood. So that is done and that was done last time. Um, more uh, progress has been made on the layout uh, right behind where I was just standing. Uh, this bulge here on the upper deck. Um, I'm in the process of laying the track for it. I've planned the track out for this uh, area. Um, and spent a good deal of time building this uh, Walther's Cornerstone model which is the uh, what was it I can't remember the name it's it's the uh, grain mill I can't remember their name for the grain mill but um, I've obviously renamed it Valley Growers to go along with the um, elevator that was uh, in the town of Glen Oaks and my old layout so the turnouts have been or at least two of the turnouts have been built both curved turnouts uh, for the passing siding, um, I decided I'm going to add a little stream here with some bridges over it. Um, and the big news here is I scratch built a crossing. If you can see that, this is scratch built um, and it's going to go right here basically. So that, uh, here we go, so that um, this, this being the main line here and this being the, uh, the siding so that cars can access both the elevator and the mill. And the last piece of big news here is actually pieces of paper because what I've done is I've gone into JMRI operations, pardon this bad video, JMRI operations and have started switching towns. You can see I've, I've pulled a switch list here for um, for that put my little logo on it and all that kind of stuff there's granted only those two towns there's Birchwood and the town that I began this video with uh, and there's only seven locations to actually um, spot cars but I wanted to get started operating because that is really given me the incentive to uh, continue tra uh, planning tracks and towns so there you have it. That's uh, the video update for um, the 21st of March. Uh, things will continue. We're going to be going, or we, by we I mean me, I'm going to be going to the Midwest Region Convention in Manitowoc, Wisconsin next month in uh, April. And then I'll be going to the Thousand Lakes Region NMRA Convention in Thunder Bay, Ontario in May. Uh, so if any of you folks are going to be at any of those two conventions, be sure to uh, say hello to me. Or if you're going to be in Portland, Oregon in August for the NMRA National Convention, I of course will be there also. So be sure to say hi. Anyway, uh, before the weather gets really nice outside and I get distracted by doing outside things, we're going to keep cranking along here doing things on this layout. So once again, thanks for joining me and uh, we will talk to you soon.